these are uh, three of the th these are three of the uh, pictures I'm going to exhibit this year at the uh, second story exhibition. Well, I call that I think the tree the tree of life. I think I think that's what I. I named. Uh, I, I I I remember. I named it or the fruit. I can't remember ex exactly. Uh, it's got to do. It's. I wasn't sure exactly where I was going when I was painting. I was sort of thinking, you know, one part I was thinking about the biblical, set, you know, the tree, the fruit, you know, the, the tree from from Adam and Eve, and uh, and I started doing green. But then I started to think about, you know, about the trop, about you know, the the tropics. You know, and I, so I gave that light green on blue round. You know, they give it a sort of like a tropical fit. So it could be really, you know, the tree, in my book, the tree of life. It's that, that's a more general thing. It's not necessarily, a, you know, a, a bibli. It could be, it could be sort of like any, you know, any any tree in any part of the world. And you know, as you can see, the the, the fruit, you know, the the fruit coming, it comes out of the tree. You know, and that's what you know, what 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 we eat. And it's uh, no, it has a kind of a sim symbolic because it's you know life seems to center it, it centers a lot around the around the tree you know so uh, you know the fruit that could be we could think of the fruit as being like offspring of pe you know some offspring of nature of all you know of all of nature it's like you know it's um, yes it it's just kind of has a it has a mystique effect that you know it can it can mind wise it can take you it take you anyway depending depending on who's looking you know who's looking at the picture oh, I found this lovely photo photograph of a piece of work that somebody had done and it really inspired me because it was sort of like blooming flowers and I love flowers as you can tell from my work and um yeah, and I did a blue wash behind, a um, watercolour wash, and went over the top with pastel and also coloured pencil. Yeah, that's another one I did with a white watercolour wash. Um, just lately I've been um, inspired by Margaret Ollie, and um, a lot of her, a lot of this work is inspired by her. I, li I like the tablecloth because it's decorative, and I like decorative things. I like my work to look abstract and um, realistic at the same time. I found another drawing of, of fruit that inspired me, and I'm, I've been working at um, tr making things realistic. Um, Alastair, who is working with us got me introduced into um, these soft um, stubs that are made out of paper and you smudge them and they blend and they end up looking quite realistic. It's awesome, I've got some awesome friends here and I really enjoy um, having the freedom to do what I want when I want to and um, my friends have inspired me <laughs> um, because their work is all fantastic and it's just nice to be in with um, having artist friends. I've just started ceramics, it's my U medium. Um, I'm learning ceramics on a Saturday morning and uh, I'm quite enjoying doing it. And this is my first cat I've done and it was quite exciting to finish it. Did patterns on a plan and then put it on the cat and took ages to paint and then the gloss. I just hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it. The chi chi chicken, it's, it was really very fun the way that I discovered all that, how to work on that, on that paper, because uh, this is a very special kind of very shiny black paper that it's just inviting to do unusual stuff. And I really never did any animals or anything like that. So it's the first time that it came out of the blue that I did scratch it with a special, uh, very thin, um, um, a wooden stick. 
I started to do it and they just be became as a chicken. I didn't know for where I'm going to. Uh, this one is actually that I cover the paper with uh, lots of uh, kind of little spaces of oil pastel and I I covered it on the top kind with, um, usually it's a black acrylic like with water and that I probably put red on that, doesn't matter. And when it's get dry, I just try to make a shape of whatever I want. And that's a lot of detail, so that's really a lot of work, this one. But I, I love it as well. I love it because it's really a nice flower and you have to come and have a look at it very close to see that it's lots of advent adventures on the way. and. It's something that, um, it's not one second you look, you, you need quite a few seconds, so. Well, it's about cats, because I love cats, and I've got a cat of my own called Sasha, and my son has a cat, and a good friend has a cat too, and we're cat people, and I do barrack for the cats, Unfortunately, they're not playing in the finals, but uh, yeah, I, I lived in Geelong for five years, so that's part of the reason. But um, I've been writing poetry and short stories when I started coming here in the writing group with um, Lee Kaufman. There were two anthologies and I write about animals in poetry and the short stories. I grew up with cats and dogs and my son had cats, he also had pet rats and he had a duck called Molly and I wrote about her and um, I'm published uh, also in the newsletter, the participants newsletter that gets published every couple of months and I do interviews and reviews of concerts. Um, but. Um, this year is the first time I think the poetry submissions are in the art exhibition and I think that's a really good thing because uh, I know I've never been able to paint or draw but I've found my niche in writing and I enjoy doing that. It's a, it's a nice hobby to, to be able to write. Fractured is one of three that's um, currently being displayed in this exhibition. Um, I'm fairly new at um, using um, any medium other than coloured pencils, so this is a free form um, work and it's a way of me expressing my emotions and I just felt that it was that sense of um, being not quite complete. Um, I think being fractured is about, um, there's some great things going on in my life but there's other things that aren't. Um, currently I don't have stable housing for instance, but I think that any, anyone who has experienced um, not being in stability emotionally would have that sense of being fractured. Actually since I'm one that um, is organic, so um, I'm not set in one sort of medium, I'm just going to see what works for me and what doesn't and um, go from there. To express me to my best, he might give opportunity. I'm used to doing a lot of graphic work and um, this sort of painting's freed me up. As I usually do graphic work that entails a lot of um, like um, like rule, um, straight lines and stuff and um, I think the splatting paint helps me because it frees me up and I love working with colour and it only it doesn't take as long and it's a, another method that not as stressful. Yeah, yeah. I think with the, the, the graphic I get too, too much into it and it's a lot of lines and proportions have to be right whereas with this painting I can just let loose and it's a lot of fun and it's sort of People have told me it looks like a Jackson Pollock sort of style, 
and um, so it's really fun because it's like colours of spring when you're doing this and it's like spring colours and it's warm and it's and it's almost like you can see things in the painting like little birds or my parents have said that it kind of looks like you've seen things you can see little things in the painting and that sort of thing it's, it's given me a lot of purpose for stables and good routine and it's good therapy and it's something to do and get to it and you feel like you've, you've, you're valued you, you're, um, you can do something good you're good at doing it and that's yeah me over there when I was sort of like, you know, Jesus is crucifix beside me and uh, I, you know, you know what I mean? And I was like, mm -hmm, um, yeah, and uh, where you ask me, yeah, uh, yeah, because uh, it symbolises the power of God, it symbolises the power of good and not evil, the power of good not evil and, you know, and um, uh, um, I don't know, no. And I love doing my art, drawing pictures of things in my mind that I think are, are real, are real to me, and things that are not real to me. So it's symbolic of real and not real to me, you know, so that one was symbolic of real to me. That's why I drew that picture you know, for the art exhibition so I could show people what I mean. I couldn't live without art. Yeah. I just couldn't live without art. Yeah. I just love art so much, it's, it's really great, you know. Here's my picture, you know, see. <laughs> Who I am is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I happen to have seen those sceneries in the TV in various times. I remembered them and just did them uh, on the canvas. Usually I do cartoons and uh, cartoons and sceneries. So this time I couldn't do any cartoons, but before I have done cartoons, and I, I like to do cartoons also. Uh, the thing is, for me, it's healing. It heals me. When I have, when I have, when I have stress or or certain period, by doing an art, it heals. Doing an art or writing something heals me.